Could freezing coral larvae help rewild reefs threatened by climate change? Scientists working on preserving Australia's Great Barrier Reef have successfully trialled a new cryopreservation method. It's called modern mesh technology and it allows you to freeze and thaw very rapidly. Scientists are scrambling to protect coral reefs around the world as rising ocean temperatures destabilize delicate ecosystems. The Great Barrier Reef alone has suffered four bleaching events in the last seven years. Cryogenically frozen coral can be stored and later reintroduced to the wild, but the current process requires sophisticated equipment, including lasers. Scientists say a new lightweight cryo mesh can be manufactured cheaply and better preserves coral. In a December 2022 lab trial, the world's first with the Great Barrier Reef coral, scientists used a cryo mesh to freeze coral larvae at the Australian Institute of Marine Sciences, or AIMS. Mary Hagedorn is a senior research scientist involved in the trials. If we can secure or save the biodiversity of coral, and their genetic diversity, then we may have, we'll have tools for the future to really help restore the reefs. And this technology for coral reefs in the future is a real game changer. Previous cryopreserving efforts had been focused on coral sperm during the limited annual spawning period. But with the new technology, conservation biologist Jonathan Daly says the scientists will now be able to collect and store coral larvae throughout the year. Through the cryopreservation that we've been doing in over the last few years is really focused on coral sperm and so to make more corals we still need to get coral eggs and that means that we uh, can only do that during that really brief annual spawning period but being able to freeze coral larvae is really a game changer because it means we can access coral larvae throughout the year uh, and this new technology that we've got will allow us to do that at a scale can actually help to support some of the aquaculture and restoration interventions that are being developed as part of our app. Trials are continuing with larger varieties of the Great Barrier Reef coral. They involved scientists from the AIMS, the Smithsonian National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute, the Great Barrier Reef Foundation and the Taronga Conservation Society Australia as part of the Reef Restoration and Adaptation Programme. The mesh technology was devised by a research team from the University of Minnesota. It's, it's fantastic, it's just amazing. Um, the, the technology that the guys develop over at UMN and then to be able to bring that here and apply it in the field with coral and have a real world output and application that can make a difference is just amazing.